Speaking on BBC News, the Scottish First Minister claimed the UK government was turning the principle of devolution on its head by trying to centralise Scotland and Wales' legislative powers after Brexit, asked whether the UK government had provided more clearance on the repatriation of powers for Scotland and Wales after Brexit. She replied, Remember, the powers we're talking about are not new powers, they're things like the environment and justice, agriculture, fishing, that are already within the devolved competence of the Scottish and Welsh parliaments, so the debate just now is not what these powers are is who controls them is the debate and at the moment the UK government wants to centralise these powers at Westminster and effectively decide how they're used, in other words to reduce the current competences of the Scottish and Welsh parliaments without our consent. Sky Getty Brexit News, Nicola Sturgeon threatens May to use Brexit deal as bargaining chip I will not recommend to the Scottish Parliament that it gives approval to the withdrawal bill Nicola Sturgeon, I know this sounds very abstract but it turns the principle of devolution on its head because right now our powers can't be restricted without our consent so why should we have that happen in the future? The fact that you have an SNP First Minister of Scotland, a Labour Welsh First Minister and cross-parties consensus in the Scottish Parliament on this, says that the UK government is in the wrong position, and if they don't move position, we've been very clear, I will not recommend to the Scottish Parliament that it gives approval to the withdrawal bill. Last month, Ms Sturgeon claimed it was very likely the Scottish Parliament would not give consent for the EU withdrawal bill unless the government changes its mind. The move would not block Britain from leaving the European Union but could add further pressure to the Prime Minister. Nicola Sturgeon claimed that the withdrawal bill seeks to restrict and contain the ability of the Scottish Parliament to legislate in devolved areas. She said, it's not about getting more power, it's about keeping the powers we have, it's no secret that I oppose Brexit and I wish Brexit wasn't happening, I still harbour hopes that Brexit won't happen or at least we will stay in the single market, but that is not what this is about. This is about protecting the devolution settlement and even if people have suspicions, I can't believe why they would that me as an SNP First Minister is behaving in the way you've described. Well, you've got a Labour First Minister of Wales who is taking exactly the same position. I will not sign up to something that effectively undermines the whole foundation which devolution is built and no First Minister, no Scottish government worth its salt should do so, Ms Sturgeon then claimed. It was very likely the Scottish Parliament would vote against the withdrawal bill. She added, right now I think it's very likely. Now we still are trying, through discussions, to reach an agreement. But if I look at the situation right now I think it is very likely that that's the position both the Scottish Government and the Welsh Government will be in.